obvious to me good to have you on this program future ambassadors amamosola adokai ugundele today we are looking at something very very important it's a new year we just talked about ambition and uh, we just talked about um uh, new year resolution and the rest so today we want to look at identity who do you see yourself to be who do people call you or what do people think about you what's your uniqueness how do you carry yourself this and much more we'll be looking at on this program today and i'm having um, wonderful guests in the studio today that will be telling us more about identity i'm having dr olufemi brian ogunkoya you're welcome to this program thank you for having me happy yeah. new year to you yeah happy new year sir yeah. and i'm having a lovely lady in the studio i'm having kenny komola fair you're welcome to this program Thank you. Okay, you're welcome to this program. Um, so we're looking at identity, but before okay. I come to you, let me hear from Candy. Um, what makes a person's identity? Your belief, ability, likes and dislikes. Likes, like for example, like some children likes playing football, and. They'll be like, their parents will be like, no, don't go to, don't do this, don't do that, and it's not good. Okay. So it's what they like, the ability, personal trait. I guess that's what we're trying to say. Yes, so from your yeah. angle, sir, um, a doctor, um, a professional on this, uh, on the feed there. So let's know from you what actually is um identity, personal identity. How do we know our identity? Yeah, yeah. Th thank you very much. I, uh, your identity simply is your person your mm. personality okay. what defines you okay what makes you unique mm. what makes what you makes stand out okay and uh the way we are structured by nature by god uh they, they there's hardly a person that doesn't have his own uniqueness mm. so you are different from me i'm different from you in several ways okay she said it believes okay mm, likes. traits yes uh, likes mm. uh in terms of uh, values yes in terms of norms yes. in terms of culture mm. uh in terms of uh you know emotions yeah. uh in, in in terms of uh things that are psychological traits that makes me different from you okay. that's your that's your identity but you see okay. In a new year like this, what we can only tell people is to strive to be a positive person mm. so that, I mean, they have an identity, a personality that can make them achieve their dreams and yeah. goals. So basically, your identity is who you are, okay? okay? Uh, devoid of um, inferiority complex or mm. devoid of uh, uh, insecurity. I mean, you have to get to a stage in life where you have to look at this is me. Yeah. And um, there's nothing I can actually do about, about this is me, and people around me must accept me oh, for who I am mm. positively. Okay, yeah. so um, uh, you've already gone so deep in it. Um, uh, but before we uh, go further, let me go to Kende now. Um, you've heard uh, some of what Doctor has said so far that you have to accept who you really have, uh, and people should take you for who you have. So now, to you now, how important is it to know about your identity? Um. Because I don't want to be a copycat. Okay. And I want I want to know the I want to know the who I the who I am. The real the you. Me. Okay. And uh, I want to know what I can do and what I cannot do. Okay. So um mm. uh, I think she is in line a little. Yeah, okay. she um, is. She's in line. No, um, she is because even being a copycat is an identity. Mm. Some people love seeing nice things. Copy it. Okay. It's an copy identity. It. Okay. Some people love innovative things some people for example are extrovert mm. some are introvert, introvert yeah. some like you know when they get to a place they are like magnets you know you you will notice that ah he has arrived she has arrived some would like to be quiet and be reserved to themselves mm. all this form part of your identity and to your question that why is it important mm -hmm. you see it is important because when you know the kind of person you are it makes life easier for you mm. yeah, i mean you, you will know your limits you know your strength, you know your weaknesses. Mm, I think that's what. Yes, yes. Yeah. You know, you know your strength. You know your weaknesses. You know how to relate with people comfortably without having issues, issues with people. Yeah. I mean, some people love, for example, to sleep early. Some love to sleep late. Mm. Some are addicted to their phones. Some are not. Mm. Some, I mean, uh, there are some set of food some people they can't do without. It's part of their personality, and some are allergic. To some thoughts, yeah. so you have to discover yourself because in discovering yourself, 
it makes life very easy, easy for you yeah. and you can cope with almost everybody since you are your person and there's this fulfillment mm. this inner sense of joy, joy and inner peace mm. and fulfillment that well even if i make mistake as a person you they take responsibility it, no yeah. you take responsibility for it other than trying to like she said Shift. copying people copying people because you know the yoba will say mm. as in people are different we are all in our lanes we are we have different dreams mm. okay there's no way i would want to like copy your dreams i want to leave your there was this research if you permit me mm. it was done in the united states of america and you know this lady went to the hospital to clinic and she was collecting data on those who have terminal illnesses okay those perhaps the doctor have said you have three months to, to live, live six months to live two weeks to live and she will not be asking them and be documenting that what are your regrets is there anything you as you are going you. now out of this world you would have loved to change okay after getting those responses from from them i mean she did live for like almost nine to twelve months she now prioritized their responses she prioritized which one did they say most mm -hmm. okay the best the first the, the top five okay let me just give one because of time yes, so please people one one of they said that how i wish i live a life of my own mm. and not the life others expected of me mm. it was top among the responses so it is important that you see if you know your identity the kind of person you are your personality you live your life mm. and you'll be joyful and have that inner peace rather than living the life of others uh, living the life of others yeah. okay the, based on that now you've seen people um that um can't make a decision on their own they always depend on somebody to do to make decision for them how dangerous is that when you wait on people to make decision for you to make some choices in life for you it's very very dangerous because if you are pleasing someone because maybe like for example now maybe you have a friend and you're you are doing something your friend did not like and she's telling you that ah this thing i don't like it do my own way and you're doing her own and later on, you will not even go forward. You will just be doing what she wants and what she she likes, and you, you will not be able to do what you want to do in life, or you will not even make it in life. So mm. it's very very dangerous. So you need to decide on what you want and what you don't want. Okay. Now, when you get to that point of like um, not knowing what to do, um, maybe you you are faced, you are like in a fix. What do you do? What do you start? You come out of it. Well you you sit down think and go to people that know more yeah. more things about this the the, the things um, you're facing things like. you are facing okay. so you are going to think very well and do the right thing or way i think weighing your choices too yes. matters too yeah, yeah. so can yeah. you tell us more about that yeah too? yeah just to add a little she has said it all that you see uh, uh, it depends on the kind of decision you want to take. Mm -hmm. There are some life-changing decisions. Yes. To get married is life-changing. Mm -hmm. to, to go for a course, or, yeah. Yeah, to go for a course is life-changing. Uh, mm -hmm. To to even choose a career yeah. is life-changing. So there are so many other decisions that are very little. You know, you can on your own Make decide. Sense, yeah. But you no, know, those other ones that are life-changing. Uh, one Fatuya can uh, call it turning. There, there are turning point decisions. In okay, life, yeah. in one's life, so you, you need, like you said, need to consult. Mm -hmm. Okay, before you take the decision, weigh options, get as many information as you want. Okay, you want to choose a life partner now. I mean, you should find out whether the guy is asthmatic or not, whether he's AS or SS or whatever genotype he is. Mm -hmm. You should find out whether he, he has one. Don't say you just on your own. You need to, I mean, get information from people mm -hmm. who knows people. Who may have one information or the other okay i mean if you don't find information about him do not marry i not find that the guy is snoring uh, <laughs> <don't, yeah. laughs> and the guy is snoring and what kind of you know, you know the resentment will start yeah, but, but sir, don't so, you think in that aspect again mm. because uh, what me i'm looking at again is that when you in that kind of aspect you know mm. consult somebody like yes. friends like mm. you know like you to uh, no no age. i'm not apart from friends you, know, you need to consult parents okay you need to consult elders you need to consult when i mean consultation i'm not even actually saying your peers mm. you can even talk to them but you may not you see 
when people give you advice, it's, it's not, not necessarily you take, you take advice, it. No, yeah. it's for you to just get information. You get information where your options, okay, before you now take the decisions, okay. So even in your career, you need mm -hmm. to get information. There are some courses you go to universities. You come out, you start looking. For, looking there, for there, a job. There, there's, there's, there's this study done. I hope we can do that in Nigeria too. You know, graduates were asked that the courses you you did. In fact, some of, a lot of us are practicing what we did not study. Mm -hmm. In the university yes, yes. so they were asking graduates that i mean if you have to come back again will you go for that course you I went for uh, uh your, during your undergraduate days some top courses were sought for people say ah i'll go back and do it again but there are some courses i would say never in my life i will not go back to that course again i don't want to mention those courses here if another program we can discuss mm -hmm. career counseling but the point i'm trying to make is that when you are taking life-changing decisions, it's not only your friends you'll be consulting. You consult your parents, okay? You consult your spiritual guide, okay? Sir, I'm about to take this. And you see, whatever advice they give you must be objective, must be rationalized. Not a uh, selfish uh, motive. Uh, not objective that somebody saw in dreams, okay? Or somebody saw in the scripture. Mm -hmm. It must be advice that are, that, that, that are very rational. Mm -hmm. That if you add one plus one, it becomes two. Okay. That you now owe you own that decision yourself and if at all any negativity comes out from the decision you have taken you take responsibility you don't blame those who advise right, so yeah. i mean in, in, in taking decision depending on the decision the, the decision like i've said uh you need to consult you know people uh the yoruba will say mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I shall be at the let yes. me yeah. yeah. translate it that if a, if a, if a, if, a, if a young guy have plenty of clothes, he cannot have rags. He like cannot it. have rags like <laughs> so. The experience is there. They will tell you, okay, these are the pitfall. Make sure you guide guide against this. There are times I sit down, I look at my life, and I get to know things today that oh, I wish I had known this kind of stuff when I was in my twenties. Because mm. if I have known this stuff. I would have taken some certain decisions. So in taking decisions, you need to consult. And before you take final decision, you must get all your information intact such that you will not regret that, ah, had I known this information, I would have taken to this uh, path. Mm. I think consultation, it's seeking very advice important. is very important. Yeah. But sir, uh, some youths, they, we, we, they tend to like follow, like what she said earlier on, like copycat and all that. Yeah, they yeah. tend to follow what their friends are doing. Mm. Um, this person wants this and just because you don't want to offend that person, mm -hmm. you tend to dance to the person's mm -hmm. stone. How dangerous is that to... Yeah, it's to, it, it, to, it's to, part to of peer, peer pressure, okay? Mm. Because you see, what uh, Maslow, Abraham Maslow, I mean, uh, in the hierarchy of needs, said there's yeah. what is called social needs, you know, okay. it classifies it to five. I mean, I discussed it to some of my students today. Uh, we have the physiological needs, the safety needs, social needs, the esteem needs, and safe actualization. Okay. You see, social needs is the need to belong. Mm -hmm. Okay, and your I friends, think that's one of the things that is affecting a yes, lot of people. They, but they need to be disciplined in belonging. Mm. There's no, there's no, there's no. I mean, there's nothing wrong in you having friends, cliques, okay, going out. You know, but you have to put your thinking cap on such that, I mean, if they are turning towards bad influences, for example, they are smoking. A, a, a video came out just yesterday of a guy that was smoking. And giving it to a toddler. I don't know that. Yeah, yeah I saw, I saw it. That okay. The policeman, the police are looking for. They are looking for the guy. I pray they get the guy. You see, the, the point I'm trying to make that if you're in a clique of those kind of, people, you should not even be there in any way. Anyone that has any kind of friends or social belonging that are that have negative effects, antisocial behavior, uh, gay, lesbian, they still they are into prostitution and the rest. You don't copy. Or bow, I mean, bow to the pressure of such kind of group. But if you are in a group of those who are goal getters, who mm. want to achieve something in life, who are focused, who are less distracted, um, who pay less attention to their. I'm not saying you should not use your phone because you see, this phone is making a lot of people go haywire nowadays. Yeah. You have to be disciplined in using your phone. Unless you're a business person. Or you're making money. And you're making phone. money from that. You have to be there like 24 hours and the rest. Okay. So it is important that you don't allow. You should belong, but don't allow your belonging to make you, I mean, exhibit or do negative or uh, counterproductive or, you know, antisocial behavior, okay. you know, like, I mean, smoking, stealing, gangstering, vandalizing, violence. You should not allow the peer pressure uh, of the clique that you are to push into, in, into such. Okay. In fact, you should just exit yourself because you deserve better. 
because God has given you a purpose in this life and you deserve better than the trash those guys are doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, um, Kenny, let me come back to you. Um, we are looking at, um, how do you know your strength? What are those things that you're good at? Um, what makes me happy is, is when I'm making hair. Okay, making hair. Yeah, I love okay. it very, and it's making me happy very, very But I'm covering the hair. So, I love making hair. Okay, okay. and what again? What do you like doing? Um, I like baking. Okay, like That's good. cake. Yes, because mm. yes, yeah, I like baking, and those two makes me happy, very, very happy. Yeah. So, do you know why I ask this? this because a lot of youths outside there, they don't even know what they're good at. Yeah, it's their passion, so, yeah. How important is for us to know our strength? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think, uh, you see, it starts from when you are very small and young, mm. as early as two years old. I think parents should be very vigilant mm. to be able to identify, ah, this kid. If, so, if, if it's a kid that talks too much now, you may likely want to be your profession. <laughs> <laughs> because it, you, keep, no, you should not be slapping that kind of kid because you are killing the strength, the strength you are yeah. killing the trade, the skills that mm. can be nurtured and developed. Okay? Mm. No, even my own, a lot of my children, you, you see them doing things, ah, even this thing they are doing, I cannot do it. Just like encourage them. They will make mistakes, fine. Life is about mistakes. They will learn from it, okay? So it is important we identify our strengths mm. and our skills. I'm happy for her. If that's your skill, you can make billions. Yeah. Billions. People go not the cooly cooly billion. Not the cooly cooly billion online. <laughs> <laughs> People make but, uh, and they make good money from good that. Money, good Even money. Good money. Baking. It's, yeah. Salon business is a fantastic mm -hmm. business. I mean, cake bakery. I mean, confectionery is a fantastic. I know somebody in Jebo here. I mean, very. I would want to advertise. Okay. Yeah, you are going to pay for uh, that. I'm not that. <laughs> <laughs> that no. They are, in fact, there is another a friend of mine very close to that place. And they will be wishing that, ah, wow, why did I go and be doing? My friend will be regretting that, ah, what am I doing? Something what I'm is. doing? I should be doing what this lady is doing. doing. Yeah. Because the booking is just per, per minute, per, mm -hmm. no, because you, know, you have to learn business skills too. So, identify your strengths. Uh, me, I have so many strengths too. I'm, I'm not going to do <laughs> <laughs> So, identifying your strength, your skill is very, very important. I think we people, when I say people, the society, to help people, mm -hmm. to assist them to nurture those strengths so that they can become very useful to our mm -hmm. community. Because if the strength finally comes out, it is our community that will benefit mm -hmm. I mean, from it. So it is important we understand and recognize. And even do, do strength hunting. I mean, you, you do talent hunting. Mm -hmm. Want to know who and who can do IT. Some people are good in IT. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you give them phone, give them any gadget, they can quickly you know, dissect and tell you, you no, know, these are things we should be encouraging our, our kids. I mean, if you have a child that normally plays with phone, don't beat, you no. Know, you can just go and get a, 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 a phone that is not the real one, I mean, yeah. a, a pseudo phone, and just be given to him, let him be doing what he likes doing. And with okay. time, he will grow up and, I mean, probably go to the university or our institution to I develop. You no, know, I, I, I met a boy, apparently. The boy loves music, mm. and because the dad does not like him to sing, the boy secretly has been he has he has gone far. He lives in Nepal, and he has gone far to Ibadan to studios in Ibadan, and the dad does not even know. No, mm. okay. So the thing now came to me, and now calm the dad down. Dad, please relax. The boy has said this is his passion. Is this is what he wants to do? If you kill it, you are killing his dream. Mm. Even if he has to regret doing it, let him <coughs> know that it is his, his decision. You will not say, hey, now my dad now. Mm. It's my mommy that says I should go and do it now. Mm. Let him hold up to his decision. And I said, don't worry. I will take him up and start mentoring him. Okay? okay. That <coughs> your brand of music should be one that will promote goodness in the society. Yeah. That will be fine. And the boy has been doing well. I mean, recently. Yo, we just met in December. Uh, but at least so far, so good. He's been doing well with his skills. And in fact, he, he sent a music to me to my WhatsApp and said, ah, I should listen to what he had just yes. cooked up. Yeah. And, they, and I said, Yes, you're you are, you are doing well. I mean, give 10 years from now, this will be people that, through their skills that we have nurtured, uh, will bring value. So I mean, one of our musicians, I mean, played in Qatar. I mean, yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah, it brought yeah. glory to, to even if we didn't play there. But at least the energy was, was there <laughs> to represent us. Uh, uh, so we come back to you shortly okay. based on what you just said. Now, yeah. but to Kenya now, how important is it? Um, for most parents, they like to 
kill like what the doctor said they like to in a way they might think they are directing you in a positive way but sometimes they kill that dream that would have launched you to become um, um well known in the society what do you think um parents should do in that kind of aspect uh the parents should study the child very well because yeah. there are some kids some like music some like football some like fashion but if you yeah, if the parent is seeing that ah this this child likes because you want a profession the parent might want a professional yes. course for the child and there are some parents that they'll be like Ah, I don't like my student to do this to maybe the child is singing. Ah, I don't want my child to sing. I don't want my um uh, baby to do this. They should please that they should lead they should lead them to yeah, what is fair. good and what is not good. They should tell them what is very important in that mm. that career. Okay. Yes. Okay, I think you want to say they should tell them what is not good. good. Okay, differentiate yes. from what is not good. Okay, sir. Um, in this aspect, you've just said um the parent you gave us a, a narration about yeah. a parent that uh, is trying to caution the child. Yeah. He might see it in a way that oh, music is for child, is mm, for some. It's surrounded people. by negativity. And, yeah. Okay, so how important is it for parents? Because I've seen someone that likes football and so much love football that um he wanted to go into it, yeah. but the father was always caning him and you no know, stopping him so they say that now he's not a grown man so he doesn't even have interest in football it's when they are showing them <laughs> uh, when they even play match he doesn't even yeah. watch so so it's, how important is the role of parents yeah. in guiding their children and yeah. yeah. making the right decision yeah, yeah, yeah. i think th th this is a point where we can say uh, the, the child can eat it its cake and also have I it because my advice to that uh, boy was that fine you have to also go and get a degree Mm -hmm. Okay, in the field that you have passion for, mm -hmm. so there are but, degrees in music. Yes, yes, yeah. and theater, art, art, and the rest. Mm -hmm. You know, so I, 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 I think parents need to, like she said, and I agree with her, that study uh, our children very well, and uh, see how the passion they have. I mean, and whatever is, is, is there's, there's no profession without negative. There's no profession in the whole world that doesn't have its own negative yes, aspects. Yes. I think what you need to do is to now guide whoever has passion for football and the rest. Uh, to lean towards the, I mean, positive aspect. I mean, that's what we can do actually. But to now kill the spirit, they don't know they're killing the, 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 the dream. But uh, just... That's where even enlightenment mm. also comes in. To let parents know that you know when you notice some of these things in your children, just you know try and get counsel, try and get I mean advice and opinions. I mean, I try and see. Everybody must not be a doctor. Everybody must not people be a lawyer. Even doctors, is it even pay? people? They are, Japan, I mean, a lot of the doctors are really complaining. Yeah. The workload, even when I saw the kind of workload doctors go through, in, I mean, I said, ah, can my even children, I mean, do this kind of stuff, you know? And they are not even well paid here. A lot of them are traveling out. So I think uh, we, we, as parents, we should try and assist our children to nurture and support them, okay? Even if not with money, kind words, and caution. Okay, make sure these are the things you should do, these are the things you should not do. I think that's the role of parents and, and teachers too. Mm. And I, 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 if a teacher should notice a, a, I mean, a trait, an ability in, in, in a student, I mean, he, he should to try to, to, to nurture that kind of trait mm. so that, I mean, at the end of the day, will be the better for it. Abi. Mm. Uh, so, um, um, some people have weak points. They have, they are not really good in some things. Yeah. You know, um, uh, it's not as if they are not really good in some things. Maybe um, they are body shaming. They tend to depend on people, on everything. Mm. They know they are, okay, since we are knowing our strength, we should mm. know. Our weaknesses too. Yes. Mm. So how can we work with that our weaknesses so that we can have a good, um, build our strength, you know, yeah. to develop our strength positively? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think uh, when it comes to weaknesses, everybody has weakness. You know, so but I think uh, we, we, you, you should identify number one is identify, so identify your weakness, it, yeah. recognize it. Okay, if your weakness, for example, is sleeping too much, mm. and there are people like that, if you are a sleeper, you sleep too much, <laughs> you don't go and drive car. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you should understand now, you don't go and cook. Or oh, you should know what as a student, I think gas. even the youth should know, know when they read because mm. you know, okay, I sleep, I can't at, read at night. At night, yes. So you should know that, that oh, you should not, the day, you should yes. not play. So you must identify your weakness. Some people, they are gluten, they can eat. Mm. It's a weakness. So you know you can eat anything. <laughs> then you don't, you don't move close to your enemies because they can put something <laughs> and you just eat. So yeah, so it is important that you recognize the weakness and try as much as possible uh, not to 
bring out the weakness or try to conquer the weakness in a way mm. so that you don't allow the weakness to overpower mm. and overshadow your strength because you see if you have more strength than weaknesses you are still good to go mm. but it's, your weaknesses should not overshadow your strengths okay? okay but it is important to recognize it and say ah this is my own way. some people their weakness weaknesses that they can't see beer they can't see alcohol mm. they drink once like this they will drink to stupor mm. okay even though that is a weakness then you, you leave you don't go near it some people the opposite says is their weakness you can't see a nice lady like this. Yeah. They, they, they can't talk again. <laughs> <laughs> so we just have to know it and try to guide uh, against okay. it. So. I think I think we are running. Uh, we are not having much time with us. But before we wrap it up, and Ken, what is your advice for people this new year, especially youth in making decisions, in knowing who really they are? Uh, my advice to them is there's no the way they do things like they should not follow wrong advice they should know what they can do and what they cannot do okay thank you um, uh, so, um, and yeah. your advice to people um to their parents at home and to the youth outside there yeah my, my advice to people is i mean this is 2023 uh try to discover who you are uh, it, at times it takes a long time a long process to know okay this is the kind of person i'm really Ah, so try to discover yourself and for parents uh, don't kill the traits the skills that are beneficial that you have cited in your kids try to not show it and you'll see that it will come to, to your advantage and to the society at large uh, 2023 some people have said I mean will be a bit tough I know it will not be tough on us anyway yes, yes, so yes. please just take it easy <laughs> take it calm don't do more than you can afford do things, I mean, I mean, moderately, moderately, yeah. moderately. And I, I wish you all the best in this yeah, year. Thank you very much. You've we heard from our guest in the studio, and also from me, do things moderately, be yourself, try to identify those skills that you think, um, you don't even know you have. Seth, also come your way again on the same program next week. Bye bye. Thank you.